Okay, I was going to start the game uh, like normal, but something cool happened when I booted up the stream. Uh, when I was about, when I booted up the game to the main menu, like normally you start off with this, uh, screen, but when I accessed it, something new happened and I'm hoping that, uh, when I hit English, it's going to do the same thing again. So let, let's see. After Koopo game, after Koopo games. Yeah, they replaced it with God. So I thought that was like a little neat thing. It's probably because I, I defeated him. So yeah, this is your host, Kozarraspel. And welcome back to Epic Battle Fantasy V. In the last video, woo, we, we defeated all the dark players. And now we're going to just try to obtain the uh, last orb, beat the game. I know I didn't, I didn't capture God. I know, but it turns out that you can't capture everything your first run through anyway. So uh, you can only capture the destroyer. Now, this is a little bit of the thing I, I found out. You can only capture the destroyer on New Game Plus, or not the destroyer, it's the final boss, something else. Um, but on top of that, why aren't they moving? Everything, nothing's moving. Uh, I'm a bit freaked out by this, hold on. Do I have idle animations turned off? How? Yeah, the idle animations are dead. I, I don't know what happened. I'll take a look after this battle's over. Oh, that's so weird. I, I didn't even... I forgot that the idle animations were even toggleable. Um... Let's see. You know what? They're, they're uh, they could probably die. So let's just do this. And then we'll go. Okay, I need to go into the menu. Options. What? Idle animations only for background. Yeah. Well, why was this turned off? I definitely did not turn that off. That's all I'm saying. I wonder if I have, uh... It's still on epic difficulty, probably. So, why don't we just kill these things quickly? Arrow rain! More Bone Hydras? Yeah, this is actually the first time you're supposed to see the Bone Hydras. We fought them already, but this is where you're supposed to see it. Oh, that was not the right move. And just smack it. Okay, what did I want to take a look at? Oh yeah, the options. Yeah, it's currently on Epic. We're just turning it down to speed things up. I should probably also equip everyone, but by the way, I'm not going to turn it up to Epic for those Bone Hydras. You're supposed to turn it up to Epic for the three-headed bone hydra, not the two-headed bone hydra, there is a difference. Uh, 
Also, No Legs is currently not set up for battle, so we're going to take him off the team. There is a three-headed bone hydra later, just not, it's not over there. So why don't we change our equipment? Oh, you're perfect for fighting the, the bone hydra, Natalie. Uh, you need to change this though. You need a holy weapon. Do I have the holy weapon? Yeah, I probably have the holy weapon. Ah, here it is, the crystal wing. Randomly cast heal more between turns. That sounds fantastic. And do I have like a priest uniform? Yeah, boost the damage of holy skills. And this is probably fine already. Yeah, th this is fine. So we're just going to switch Natalie and Lance into this set. And moving on. Okay, so first, I forget, do I have a way to curse these guys? Yeah, Tel Telperion can curse. The cats still believe their empire will rise again, but are willing to compromise. Okay, so the reason we wanted, do wanted to curse them, even though it healed them, holy damage is increased by 50%. Purging flame. So why don't we do more of that to you? And that's still on cooldown, so we're going to just use other attack. Whoa, okay. Oh, gotta kill the other one fast. Oh yeah, counterattack with that. That works. That was easy. But, I mean, it was on normal difficulty. I wasn't expecting too much. What happened to the light? Why did the light go out? Why'd I get a treasure chest? Oh, hey, it's a topaz key. And I just noticed that bone shard there. I'm a bit nervous about this. There's no way of knowing what's going to happen when we put all four orbs in place. The best and worst case scenario is the final boss gets summoned and we all die. Well, just in case anything happens, it was nice knowing y'all. Suddenly they start taking things seriously. Maybe it was better for morale when they didn't. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, wait, before I get going, I'm going to see if we have another I'm trying to see if we have a method of putting curse on our enemies. That's not going to cost 112 points. Okay, 
so first off nothing nothing bad luck dry weak oh that could be uh that could be useful actually so why don't we put this on someone Weaken is very useful to us. But what about Curse? Bad luck, dry, tired, freeze. No, no, no. Aha, here's one. Mage Dog. So we'll throw that in here. And then I want to make sure that I have the item that allows us to restore some SP. Yeah, this, the Juicy Beast. Restore some SP between the turns. I really wish that healed SP too, I don't know why. But, ah, my stuff! Whoa, what's happening? Looks like we're blasting off again! Oh uh, yeah, there's a revenant. I like how he's riding the sword. Woo, this is fun, there's no gravity here! We're being sucked through an interdimensional wormhole. There's no telling where we will end up. It could even be the other side of the galaxy. It's okay, I blindly trust this strange alien portal. There's light up ahead. I think we're almost there. The Oh, the, the title didn't update? Hang on. Uh, it should be updated now. We're in space! Are we going to suffocate? Whoa, we're really high up. Is that the what the Earth looks like so far away? I can breathe just fine though. Why would we suffocate? This is not normal. Is this real life or just fantasy? The laws of the universe shouldn't allow such a place to exist. Is this a pocket universe? An area of space-time separated from our world by dimensional barriers? Did the monoliths create this? Their controller must be here! Whatever has been commanding the monoliths, this will be the best place for it to hide itself! I didn't understand much of that. But whatever has that sort of power is likely is not going to let us kill it easily. Meow meow! Agreed. We should stay confident and get ready for whatever challenges await us here. Okay, and someone in the chat said I need to make sure I have that uh, one outfit. that someone's Viking monolith. Uh, yeah, we can equip that for the time being. I'm not sure if that's going to be useful all the time, but that that's it. What's on Natalie? The outfit. The wardrobe. You know, I almost feel bad for these things. Oh, there's the Viking monolith! Okay. More bubble blast. Okay, two of them are wet at least. Let's see, they can only really be hurt by water and, yeah, there we go, siphoned, nice. Water and lightning is the only thing that can hurt them. And all that's left is the siphoned one. Oh right, even when siphoned those can attack. They can teleport, I love it. Wow, that was a lot of XP. Alright, what are you guys weak to? 
Yeah, they're giving out free chocolate for Valentine's Day. Uh, you're weak to Earth. You're also weak to wind? No, you're not weak to wind. Fireworks. No, don't poison that. Ah. Uh. And we're just going to save that for next turn. It's a surprise tool for later. Doesn't matter if one of them's dead. <laughs> You're double hasted, nice. But yeah, I wanted to uh, just buff that magic attack through the roof and then hyper beam. It's always so satisfying. Let's see, where does this go? Nice. Eh, good. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 we're leaving. Uh, hold on, scan. You're weak to poison, guys. They're weak to poison. Okay, but this is... Yeah, it's time to get nutty. We're going to equip Lance with, uh, you know, our favorite weapon. And we're... Yeah, I changed it to Epic. So let's uh, just save him one more time to be sure. Oh, of course, that's how they want to start this battle. We're starting this battle! <laughs> So first off, let's rack that poison up to nine, and let's uh, shoot you with some virus. And we'll go for a double shot. Defense up. And why don't we guard to get that attack up? Dispelled! She's an energetic little one, I'll give her that. <laughs> it deals so much damage. for the seventh heaven. And there we go. Nine ranks of virus. Why don't we try to get that ninth rank of poison? Nope. Never get it with nettle. Oh wait, we get one more shot. Yeah, nine ranks. Now we get to see how much damage it does. Knock it off, you Meta Knight wannabe. 
300k. Oh, that's so dumb. Armor Crush. Like this. And... Yeah, we'll do it again. Switch now for No Legs. Come on, No Legs. Can you capture that on Epic? Got it. Ultra Chibi Knight. Yeah, enslaved on Epic. Now we need to uh, make this guy tired. Or weakened. Tired or weakened is what we're allowed to do. Mm. Oh, this causes weaken. <laughs> My war mammoth. Weaken makes dark damage improved, so, but really, we should just keep poisoning it. Yeah, mammoth versus mammoth combat. And you dead. Hold on, there's something I'd like to address for a second. Someone's been secretly following us for a very long time. Oh no. What? Who's been following us? We've been somewhat careful. I've seen Matt talking to them, so he must be aware of it too. There's someone watching us from the sky, or from somewhere beyond. I can't be explain it, but I can feel it. You can feel it too, Nats? I thought maybe I was a little bit crazy. I always thought of them as the player controlling a game world. That's how I explained it to myself, anyway. There's many great minds that believe the world we live in is just a simulation, but I don't know if there's enough evidence to support such a claim yet. There may never even be a way to prove something like that. It's not so much I know the truth, I just have a gut feeling. I talk to myself, and just in case someone might be listening, good things seem to happen when I explain my thoughts out loud, as if someone listening to me and guiding me. Plus, there's this little user interface elements floating around. Icons and speech bubbles, something like that. We don't need those. We can talk to each other without them. They've got to be there for someone else who's watching us from far away. Did I not notice this speech box before? It's so obvious now I now I know what to look for. Well, anyway, I'd like to say something to the player behind the screen, whoever that is. I think they know us well enough so that we can be honest with them. You better look after us and make sure we don't die here. We've come a long way, and it's getting really dangerous now, and you've not and you've not always made the de best decisions for us. There were times when I thought we wouldn't make it, because we were out being guided in the wrong direction. So if this is the end of our adventure, you better take it seriously. Hey Nats, we don't want to make them angry or anything. If you let any of my friends get hurt, you'll have to deal with me! Alright, I'm done. I hope that message actually reached someone. I'm very confused here. I, I didn't know Matt and Nats were so religious. Smiles as if he knew all along. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not turning the difficulty back down. Because look what's in front of us. The three-headed Hydra. 
This is the one we gotta defeat on Epic. Uh, right here, defeat the three-headed zombie Hydra. Okay, saved. Equips. Everyone's good. Okay, we've defeated this boss before. It's got three heads now, but it's the exact same thing. And it's also on Epic. But we don't like to talk about that, I guess. Oh, wait, shoot. I don't have the right team, and also Lance doesn't have the right gun. Now we're ready. So defend. Why don't you just get a hyper beam charging? And defend. I hate that that tail. As I was saying, I hate that that tail has a chance for instant death. Um, okay, I, I have an idea. Oh, not Berserk, no. It's actually not a good thing to siphon the Hydras. Their, uh... Th their magic attack is way weaker than their physical attack. Okay, <laughs> you're all charged up. I love it when that works. Uh, well, he's gonna die, so I might as well do this. And countered. Yeesh. At least he's uh, distributing his attacks in a, in a very effective manner. Just wanted to get some morale on the team so they can't die in a single hit. And then we're going to Judgment. Yeah, why not? Here come the swords! Alright, now they look very, very angry. We gotta take them all down at once. Yeesh. Okay, still going good though. That's one. Oh, this is perfect timing on the finish on the time to finish them off. Triple death. 
Oh, so close to that level up. Oh, this doesn't look that bad. Then again, after everything we've seen in the game, it's about time we don't have the worst things in the world show up. siphon you if we could oh no it's charged I'm so gonna kill it Water attack. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Surrender. Uh, the Moab wouldn't really be effective there because the uh, the cosmic monoliths are immune to it. think this far ahead and I'm stunned that's why I was just like no Matt's gonna do a thing but no Matt was stunned that's what I wanted No, no, not confusion. We're taking you out for, for now. And smack him up. So close to that level up for the last guys. I wonder if there's going to be just enough enemies or no enemies at all. Getting a lot of end gamers up. Stop! We can't go this way. There's something very wrong over there. I feel like my body is being toward, <laughs> being pulled forward against my will. I don't want to go this way anymore. Meow. What the? Space itself is being cracked and twisted beyond recognition. If this corruption spreads, the fabric of all space and time could disintegrate into nothingness. It's as if the world itself is being deleted and shredded. What are we even supposed to do here? Is this the end? How do we fight something like this? I could have stayed home and lived a little longer in blissful ignorance. Let's go back and do that, guys. I don't want to be swallowed by the void. It's all just a nightmare, it's all just a nightmare, it's all just a nightmare, it's all just... Hey, snap out of it! We've come so far together, and we'll pull through it if we do our best. Each one of us is as powerful as any foe we've encountered so far. That person behind the screen is going to guide us to victory, I can feel it. We're not alone in this fight either. We've got a huge supporting cast of creatures back to back us up. 
And there's tons of people in Hope Harbor, Greenwood Village, and Red Pine all rooting for us. We can't let them down. If this is our final battle, I'm going to make it count. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't terrified. Mom and Dad would never forgive me if I lost here. I have to win for them, and everyone else. If I'm going down, I'll make it as painful for our enemy as possible. I'll detonate every bomb I've got left. It's been fun traveling with you all, and it'll be nice if we could keep doing it. I suppose I'll try hitting it with my sword. That seems to have worked so far. Meow. All right, saving. Uh, one last look at our equipment. Good. That's probably good. This could probably be exchanged. I think the final boss is weak to both light and dark, but I think I want the haste. Let's go, like, full haste gear on that. No legs here. We can't capture the final boss, so we should have no legs and something else in case he has to be brought out. Mm, that's probably going to do it. And I switch it to epic. Save one more time. And let's see if I got this. This must be the main cosmic monolith. The one that's controlling all the others. Is it responsible for these uh, space-time distortions? Okay, first, scan it. And it is currently weak to water. Hmm. What the hell? It's not your turn to attack, you stupid rock! Alright. It can counter. I need to buff up. Yeah, changing weaknesses and it counters. It, it's a fun time, isn't it? So, bam. Is that a counter attack? You'd be better be careful and choose our attacks wisely. This is, uh, this is currently the strongest variation of this, but this is not the final boss. If you notice in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, this is wave one. So, let's see. Yeah, garlic me. What's that light? Is it changing its elemental properties? What's this gigalith been up to? Why did it send all those smaller ones around the world? Looks like it might be protecting the area, but from what? From us? No! Ah, uh, it absorbs. Well, now we know it absorbs bomb, at the very least. Um, weak to wind. I use wind. I use a lot of wind. Wind! Nah, I should save that. Um...
Can you be debilitated? Not really. Okay. I'm just thinking that's all. I think I'm going to weaken it. Things are going to return to normal if we smash this monolith, yeah? It's as simple as that. Maybe I can handle this after all. Everything's going to be okay. Hit it with the six shot. I mean, maybe. I'm just carefully choosing my, my ideas, that's all. Okay, you still weak to wind? Yeah. I shouldn't just go full out with uh, all my attacks all the time because it counters. And I don't want to eat a really nasty counter like that too often. Oh, phew. Bosses always have backup. Yep. And this is why I was saving the med packs. Boom! Yeah, the statuses are working. Stop changing your weaknesses! This isn't fair at all! Don't tell me. Is this some sort of trap? That's not what I want to hear. Okay. Um, still weak to wind. And it didn't change its element at all. I, lo I love how its counterattack to being hit by the mage is to siphon it. Oh, it's because he's targeted. That's actually kind of useful then. This monolith opened a wormhole to another dimension, which means it's just a vessel being used in invasion. The invading army is yet to come. Still weak to wind? Yes, you are, and you're staggered, so this is gonna hurt. Hmm. I don't have any more wind attacks for you, so I'm gonna just heal the team. Oh, screw you. Hey, this cosmic monolith hasn't used their signature attack yet. I have a feeling it might self-destruct if we try to finish it off. That is very true, actually. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it's so close to being killed. I'll be sure to take you apart and find out what makes you tick. 
Okay, first off... Auto life. Next... Actually murdering it. Goodbye, me. I'm alive! Holy c Allow me to introduce myself. I am your end. Mm. Okay, so... Not a cat, no. <laughs> Chat said it could be a cat army. No, this is the Devourer. Um, let's bring on out. And we're gonna limit, let's bring out those buffs. And now, Anna, you're gonna do what you do best. Just all the ail ailments. Not on me! This is the fifth time I've ran this simulation. Each time you have interfered and corrupted the balance. Do you not tire of being a nuisance? Sweet. Cursing it is the best thing ever. Why does it always gotta be tentacles? So, you see, it is 80% uh, weak to holy and dark. And curse makes enemies take bonus holy damage. It sure would be a shame if I had judgment. Is it taking into account how many times you've gone to the point? No, this is Epic Battle Fantasy V, guys. Okay, let's weaken it too. Yeah, we got to keep the weaken and we got to keep the curse up. Come on, guys. We need to keep hitting it as hard as we can. If we fight too defensively, those tentacles will overwhelm us. My desire is to create a clockwork universe populated by mindless automatons. Perfectly deterministic, without random variables, only laws of nature, obeyed without question. This cannot happen while you exist and act freely. I just wanted to play video games. How did I end up in this mess? Oh shoot, you're confused. I was not planning on the confusion. Oh, it can cause virus with the... Oh, that's nasty. Dang it. Alright, let's heal more. And I don't know. Um, 
Gotta keep that weaken up. I'm not scared at all! Oh gosh! Hey, is it bleeding? Are we actually hurting it? Do we have a chance? I don't know at this point. Yeesh! Mm-hmm. Oh, Matt, you're not doing well. Um... Yeah, they're using the virus against us. Stab, 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 stab. That's two of them dead. And let's hit it with another judgment. You conscience beings are a disease. A virus that spreads and consumes everything it touches. You introduce uncertainties into my system. A butterfly effect of chaos and unreason. You obey no rules, respect no laws. Okay, that dispelled it. Don't need to worry about that no more. It's charged, though, um, so we're going to defend. And I gotta heal more. You are not solely to blame for such chaos. Someone is toying with my simulations. An outside influence from another dimension. This guardian of of yours is an abomination, a phantom that torments me, a player of sick games. Can you even trust them? Alright. Um. Anna has the target badge? That's fine. Return to the cosmic dust from which you came. Not even your memory will remain. I am okay. That's okay. It even killed no legs. We're buffing up. I know Matt's still not back yet, but we're buffing. I'm so freaking sick of your tentacles! They're back already?! No, 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 no. You know what? I have seven of these peppers. I ain't taking this lying down, okay? Screw your stupid tentacles! Ah! 
I cannot harm your guardian, but I can block their progress in this world. Destroying you will leave them with no avatars in this universe. I'll defeat you over and over again until they tire of this pointless game. Alright, we need to bring Matt back. Wait, what's that? Okay. I think I just tried to dispel myself. Okay, so why don't we, uh... Oh, I have an idea. Can, can you become light? You can become light. So, let's try it. Light, and then I'll use this, which is wind-based, and have some fun! 400k, not bad. I don't remember your previous adventures. I, I see you don't remember your previous adventures. Akron was a powerful foe, wasn't he? And Godcat? They did not serve my purpose, so I gave them lesser roles in this iteration. In the end, I will always be here to reset the world. You know what? I'm perfectly okay with continuing to, uh... Constantly annihilate your tentacles. Boom. I don't understand what it's saying at all. We didn't do anything to deserve this. I just wanted to protect Greenwood. Fruit at everyone. You pose no. Oh no, not that attack. Dang it. Return to nothingness. Ah, oh, dang it. I forgot to, uh. use auto life. Still have five turns for that left. Anna, bring back, th or Natalie, bring back the buffs. Does using the create, no, the creator uh, dispels, I believe. No, wait, the destroyer dispels. The creator. What does the creator do? Okay, no, we're, we're getting rid of those tentacles again. Take that, scumbag. Don't talk to me or my team ever again. Any way to de-virus it? I don't know. No, this just gives good luck to us. Which, <laughs> at this point, we need it. Oh, I just thought of something I could have been doing this whole time. More Old Spice. Anytime I destroy the tentacles... Um... Well... How do I phrase this? Anytime I destroy the tentacles, I'm getting, like, a lot of SP each time. So, there you go. Go 
will coffee you because we have a lot of coffee. And we need to dispel it. Warned everyone that aliens were preparing to invade. No one believed me. I tried to organize the Earth's defense and I was branded a fascist. Next time, listen and believe. Okay, I'm going to heal with this. Then we're switching out to Natalie. Boom! 300k, can't beat it. The damage has already been done. It's time to reset this universe again. I'll begin by deleting your precious home planet. Take one final look at it and say goodbye. Holy light. Uh, no. It, it's not charged. The, another Earth splitter is not coming yet. We don't need to live in fear. I programmed the monoliths to be a defense system. If outside interference was detected, they would study it and summon me. They were activated when your guardian started the game. And I've been watching you ever since. Whoa, it looks really hurt. I bet it's really angry now. I don't like it when it has tentacles, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Again, I don't know if this is the best use for these uh, peppers, but I'm getting a lot of use out of them. What? Excuse me? It's done. Your homeworld is gone forever. Fade away along with it, into the endless scrap heap of the void. Disintegrate before me, bite by bite. And now we're inflicted with the end game. So, what delete does is every turn we will be taking massive amounts of damage. So much damage until we can't win anymore. We have to defeat it now. So, let's see. Just thinking is all. Okay, so you... Curse them. It's weak in any massive d dark damage. Yeah, I got some massive dark damage. You really think I don't have any massive dark damage? Why won't you let me delete you? 
Why do you exploit the very laws I have created? We need to kill it now! Alright. How about the second verse be the same as the first? Okay, that. Now let's buff the uh, magic attack. And... Yep. Woo! Black holes, baby! Okay, the da the damage is getting higher, but we can still do this. Little by little. I do not have enough for the monolith, darn it. We're gonna need we're gonna need to take one turn to regroup. Also, he's currently not cursed. That that every single time you deal dark damage, it lowers his curse a little. First off, we need to reapply the curse. You can do that. Next, you're going to uh, buff your own magic attack. It's cursed. Buff magic attack. You're going to uh, give her a chili pepper. Limit break. Okay, so just taking a couple more looks at some things. Um, no, Enfeeble is not a good idea right now. Honestly, this is the best I can do. Let's go! Ultimate hero, world saved? That battle brought me enough time, and I found a way into your higher dimension. I've manipulated the pixels on your screens and sounds from your speakers, and sent my data through to your world. I'll be hiding in your cosmic background radiation, in the chaos of your dark energy. Some days the laws of quantum mechanics will reassemble my data, and I will finally meet you. And thus, Earth was finally free from the manipulative tentacles of the Devourer. Their mission failed, and without further commands, the cosmic monoliths were deactivated. As their dangerous radiation faded away, beasts and humans could finally relax again. And wars that had been waging for entire days have finally ended. The party began to regain memories of their previous adventures. Years of experience and friendship gradually returned to them. With the Devourer no longer controlling the Void, deleted information was slowly being restored from the cosmic recycle bin. The memories of the terminated simulations flooded back in dreams and divinations. 
Matt and No Legs would continue plundering for dungeon will continue plundering dungeons for treasure while gradually stealing less from innocent NPCs. Natalie's harsh judgments had led them towards more ethical missions. She would could see that Matt was beginning to take things more seriously, and Matt did his best to not let her down despite a few setbacks. With the world at peace, they finally had some time to spend alone together, just like in the beginning of their epic quest. Natalie would have liked to settle down somewhere to live a peaceful life, but she figured Matt still needed a few years to grow up. So until then, they continued on smaller adventures together, before eventually coming out as an official couple. Lance seemingly developed a conscience, and began rebuilding the homes he had destroyed. He reprogrammed his robots to automatically fetch materials and assemble them into structures. Foes which were made out of stone or wood often became collateral damage, and men, many gardens were also destroyed. A risk assessment was never carried out. But Lance's secret goal was to remain close to Natalie, and doing charity work seemed to be the best way. Even he could tell that she would probably never be romantically interested in him, but until someone better came along, a tiny chance was fine. Maybe she would come to her senses eventually, he thought. Maybe Matt would be slain in battle. It's a bit of a stretch, but it's nice to dream. Anna's parents decided that if she was old enough to save the world, she was old enough to move out of their house, and thus they kicked her out. Anna bought a small patch of land with a modest house sitting on, on it and quickly filled it to the brim with plants and pots. The house became damp and moldy and infested with caterpillars. Anna's, Anna's health suffered. Once Natalie finished university, she moved in with Anna so that she could perform an intervention. Natalie enforced a min minimal level of cleanliness and organization and suggested that they start it start a garden center which will allow Anna to pursue her hobbies without becoming a hoarder. No legs functioned as their mascot and the business went on to be very popular among hippies and grannies. Matt and Anna grew up grew up playing video games on completely different consoles so now they're catching up on all the games they've missed. In particular they're both big fans of action and adventure games especially if co-op mode is available. Fighting games would often result in real-life fights in Smash controllers, though. Until recently, they were both too poor to afford the internet or official strategy guides. Now, with some hits available, they're, ab they're finally able to revisit many old games to find the secrets they've missed before. They're also tempted to try out this new thing called online gaming, but so far, technical problems have prevented them from hooking their consoles up. Lance and Anna would go on to share many hunting trips together. They would responsibly hunt troublesome pests such as slimes and penguins, which would also which would often harass the livestock of small towns. Occasionally, they would receive an exciting bounty on a rare or challenging beast, such as an adamantois or a behemoth king. Man, wouldn't that have been cool to fight? Anna's respect for the natural world and Lance's expertise in modern firearms meant that they had much to learn from each other. Most importantly, that destruction and conservatism are vitally linked in a continuous cycle. Lance came to understand that carpet bombing was an unsustainable hobby, and Anna would learn many new swear words. In prep oh man, look at that sword. In preparation for any future alien invasions, Matt and Lance researched new weapons. They managed to build the Giga Sword Cannon 9000 Plus, which is capable of penetrating 20 tanks lined up in a column. Other concepts included gun blades, sword chucks, and remote controlled swords. Lance shot down all these ideas because, in his words, they were idiotic. Lance's dream of world domination remained alive, but he would continue to pursue it through peaceful means. With the resources and technology he had amassed, he would kickstart an industrial revolution, positioning himself as a market leader in an emerging capitalist system. Apparently, it's more profitable to sell goods than destroy them. The epic battle fantasy team had not only saved the world 
but also worked hard to undo most of the damage they had caused along the way. They rebuilt villages, paid off their debts, and donated their captured monsters to local preservation projects. They had stati statues built in their honor and remained good friends for many years to come. So, uh, are me and Matt, like, dating now? This is all a bit sudden. No, we're not. Not yet, anyway. All that stuff will happen in the future. It's a bit weird seeing what's going to happen to us. Doesn't that violate some sort of time travel rules? I'm sure we'll find a way to mess with every everything up before it happens. There's still plenty of time for that. So this is the best possible ending? Bah, I'm not interested. I don't think anyone would enjoy your preferred ending, Lance. I really hope you turn out more like that future Lance we just saw. I'll need to program my own video game someday. One where I'm the main character and I always win. That'll show them. Excuse me while I go shoot some penguins. Hey, that sounds like fun. Let's get them back for what they did to No Legs. Meow meow. Oh, by the way, I'm talking you to you, the player, right now. If you really liked Epic Battle Fantasy V and think it's more than what you paid for, maybe you got it in a sale, please consider throwing some bucks at the developer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, dude, come on. Come on. Stop shilling. People don't take kindly to that sort of thing. Anyone playing this probably is going to delete us now. <laughs> oh well, it was a fun ride while we lasted. Big thanks for playing. We wouldn't have made it all the way through to Game 5 if it wasn't for the huge support of our fans. What about the thing? You know, the secret thing. Oh yeah, I think it's called New Game Plus. We can play through the game again, but we get to keep all of our gear, gear like our equips and stats. Oh, and achievements that have been done to epic difficulty can't be unlocked on this mode. But what if we still have unfinished business in the current save game? Gotta quit and reload the game, I guess. For some reason, we can't save the game after being the final boss. Oh, so uh, what about New Game Plus? Do we need to do something to start it, or is it just going to... And it started. <laughs> yep, New Game Plus. Okay, but that's going to be it for this. Uh, oh, right, I forgot to mention something you guys might very much enjoy. So, I found this out. If you... Uh, manage to capture the Devourer in New Game Plus, then when you play New Game Plus Plus, a new boss takes the Devourer's place. And that is a putrid worm that's 12 levels higher than the party. So like a level 50 Giga Nibbles. And that made me laugh so hard. I thought you guys would enjoy that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that is hilarious. So, uh, just FYI, for those of you who are watching my stream still... Um, I'm going to be ending off Epic Battle Fantasy V here. This this feels like a fantastic way to end it. But stay tuned because I'd say in about 10 minutes, I'm going to get started on my next series. So if you want to stick around and uh, be up to date for that, catch you guys in a bit. Until then, though, this has been your host, Kuzar Raspel. Hoping to see you in the next video or live stream. And signing out.